Hello, welcome to the Easy Odds YouTube channel. You can of course subscribe by pressing the button above Jake's head right there straight away. So now that's over and done with, let's move on to Jake's Irish 2000 Guineas tips for this weekend. But before we go into the tips itself, let's um, take a look back to last week, Jake, where you had a 10 to 1 winner in the lock -in. Yes, two weeks in a row now. So we had the Victoria Cup winner, 25 to 1. And then Bellardo won at ten to one. Uh, tipped him in mid on Wednesday last week. Really, really nice run. Perfect ground. Soft side of good. No, mo good to soft. Probably soft in places. It's dried out quite a bit, but it was just just soft, soft enough for him. I think. Really, really decent ride as well. Um, yeah. Obviously, if it was faster ground, maybe Ascot. Um, I wouldn't be tipping him because I don't think he's amazing. But he's probably better than these on soft ground. It wasn't a great race anyway, as I said in the video. Um, hasn't been a vintage week. I've had a couple of really hard luck stories. Yeah, um, a few crossbars. A couple of crossbars. Had a twenty-eight to one place. Had a sixteen to one place. Had a twelve to one place yesterday that should have won. It was a terrible ride. Very frustrating. But we must move on. Trucking on. Try and get another winner in the YouTube video. That's what I'm going for now. That's all I care about. The, the hat trick. The hat trick of YouTube. The hat trick boys. Winners. Is there for you to take? Yeah, be able to take it home. <laughs> So, can Jake take home our very lustrious Tony Hibbert Sondico football that, that we currently have in the office? We actually do have Tony <laughs> Sondico football. <laughs> um, so, let's get stuck in then, Jake. Give us your tips for the 2000 Guineas. Okay, so we've got 2000 Guineas. It, it sees the rematch of Galileo Gold and Air Force Blue. Galileo Gold won the 2000 Guineas, the English version. Very, very impressive. Uh, he was running through the line that day. So every, a few people, well, a lot of people thought, assumed that he would go for, towards the derby. I think Frankie Tatori said after the race that he would go to the derby, but they did some weird kind of gene testing on him, looked okay. back through his uh, history um, breeding, and he uh, turns out they're not. They're going to stick at a mile, probably. Okay. They haven't ruled out the derby, but they're going for this, so you'd think they'd probably get a stick to the kind of uh, mile route. And um, he's currently, he's a very worthy favourite. Um, he, he won really well that day. Put quite a big price. I think it was fourteen to one best price, uh, uh, the two thousand guineas. But uh, he's actually seven to four at the moment. <laughs> That's a little bit too short. So many favourites bombed out on that first on that Saturday at Newmarket. Um, I think there was only about two, maybe one favourite placed. The first three in the market in the two thousand guineas first just finished yep. last, third last, and second last. So I don't know. Uh, seven to four is a little bit too short for me. He could easily win. He's a worthy favourite definitely. But um, I'm not going to be tipping him at seven to four. And then Air Force Blue, who was obviously absolutely awful at uh, uh, Newmarket, completely... Pretty, sh pretty short price favourite, right? Really short price, odds on. Um, I actually opposed him on the day because um, of my reservations about Warfront, his sire, yep. uh, especially from two to threes, they don't seem to train on very often. It's a, it's a pretty it's a significant, significant amount <laughs> of them don't train on, weirdly. But um, I did, obviously I didn't think he was going to bomb out that badly, he was terrible, I mean, just found nothing for pressure. Um, it was too bad to be true, but just that's the only run this year. That's all we got to go on. I can't be tip. He's only eleven to four. If yeah. you're backing him, it's on hope that he'll be show his last year's form. Yeah. And that's too bad to be true. And it probably was too bad to be true, but I'm not. He, and he, oh, he's another one who obviously could turn it around and be and win again. But there's a few things. That what's I his like. best price at the moment, Jake? Um, he's probably. I think he's he's best price eleven to four. Eleven to four. Yeah, eleven to four. Which isn't isn't very good, I don't think. Just judged on two thousand guineas form. So you're going to stay away from the two at the top. I'm staying. The I'm staying away from the two at the top of the market. Um, I'm going for one a little bit further down. Okay. Called Blue de Vega, trained by a young trainer called Mike Callahan. Uh, he was a really really exciting. Uh, two year old. He won two out of his three races. Uh, he he was exciting on debut, and then he was, and then he won his two second uh, se second and third races, and. Really, 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 really easily. Um, the sec, I, 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 I really started taking note of him when he won the Killer, uh, Killer Villain <laughs> Stakes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not 100 percent how to pronounce it, but he was Route Three Pin, Pin Eleven Stakes um, by three lengths, and he was it was easy as you like, absolutely easy. Uh, his jockey Colin Keane pretty much just didn't come out of second gear. East of the front, very, very impressive. Um, he ran last time against Ortard, he was five to one here. Um, but and he, and he and he got beaten quite 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 not comprehensively, but Ortard won quite easily. It was still eye catching though, I think. I mean he came from the back, he looked like he needed the run to be honest. It looked like one of those one of those where he needed the run, which is really, really 
Uh, that happens a lot with Michael O'Callaghan Yard at the moment, yeah. um, this season especially. Uh, he was getting a bit of a reputation as a two-year-old trainer last year, which um, he probably didn't like. But this year, he's shown that he can do it with the old horses as well, especially his three-year-olds. And they definitely, they all need the run. It's weird. Okay. It's like it was like uh, Charlie Appleby. Uh, his horses always need the run first time out. But this this, this is with uh, fear of three-year-olds, and his three-year-olds seem to always need the run. And four-year-olds actually. Yeah, a few of his others. The most obvious would be now or never uh, Philly, who who ran really well first time out, but not amazingly exactly the same as. Um, Blue de Vega, and then was unbelievably impressive, like light years ahead of that form <laughs> in in the Oaks trial um, next time out, uh, Leopardstown. Uh, so if he can do something like that, I mean he's going to come on a lot. There's a hundred, I'm hundred percent sure he's going to come on a lot. I would be very surprised if he didn't reverse to perform a Bortard, which is the odds aren't saying that. I mean he's he's eleven to one best price at the moment. Uh, or Tard, or Tard is uh, five to one. Five to one. Yeah. But I could see him reversing, even though it looks quite an easy win. Um, I think the rain's forecast is currently good, but I think it will probably be good to yielding. I don't know. It's going to be. It's going to be. Hopefully, it will because he wants a bit of cut in the ground. Some uh, pundits and a few other people think he wants straight up soft, heavy ground. But I think he'd be better on kind of. I think he'd be fine on the soft side. Good to be honest. He just wants juice in the ground. So would you be tempted even in a head to head bet for those two horses? Oh yeah, if, if there is a head-to-head there, I'd be definitely tempted. Uh, he'd probably be quite good odds as well, actually, but I'd rather go him to win the whole race at 11-1. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not even going to go each way, to be honest. Uh, I, d- I just don't find... Like, I like Galileo Gold. I think he's the worthy favourite. Obviously, I don't like Air Force Blue because he was bombed out of the, in the guineas. I know they're taking off all of his mental headgear that he had on that day, <laughs> um, but pff, I don't know. I, don't, I think they, ha- they have to run him because they have to... He's going to be a stallion. Like he's going to be worth a lot of money, and so it's going. To, they have to run him. It's not like he's not like a. It's not like in jumps where you can just leave him out for a year when they're not right. But I don't fancy him. Galileo Gold, worthy favourite. Blue de Vega, eleven to one. Great value. And that's for the hat trick as well. For the hat trick ball, eleven hat trick, to one. All, all double figure prices hat trick. That sounds great to me. If you could somehow see the future and put that in a treble, you'd be rich. Ten pound on, hundred and thirteen back. That will pretty much get you your Tony Hibbert ball. Yeah. <laughs> you probably, no way no one's getting the Tony Hibbert ball that's mine so thanks very much for watching that that was Jake's tip for the Irish 2000 guineas which once again is Blue de Vega Blue de Vega 10 to 1 no, 11, to 11 to 1 best price using easy odds make sure that you do use easy odds because for this race and all other races we don't just have the odds from one bookmaker we have them from every single bookmaker on our site that's over 20 bookmakers in total you can um, compare the odds across the board find out which which bookmaker offers the best price for your chosen selection and bet with that bookmaker. It's as simple as that. Yeah. We even highlight the best odd for you in a little yellow square. It's really, really easy. It's pretty easy, yeah. So make sure that you uh, head to easyodds.com and place your bet for the 2000 Irish Guineas. And b- before you do that quickly, let's just press that subscribe button one more time, just above Jake's head there. It's up here. That way. There. So thanks very much for watching. I'm Ross Casey. This is Jake Johns. And we have been easyodds.com. Bye, bye, bye.